let me tempt you into starting this practice, will you? Okay, disclaimer, I am not a yoga instructor, <laughs> okay? Um, I did yoga for many years, uh, ages ago, and now I'm getting back to it. Um, I attend classes myself, uh, and I am doing an online course, um, 200 hours online course, um, as well as a face yoga course, uh, to be able to not so much to become a yoga instructor, although who knows what the future brings, uh, certainly not now, but what I want to be able to uh, apply it in my life and therefore, by extension, in your life. We are all aware uh, that the percentage of uh, men uh, doing yoga is uh, much lower than women. It's something like 80% of women versus 20% of men. Um, is something like that. And I'm gonna tell you why that is. <laughs> it is a matter of energy. Like that. Energy as such is neutral. Um, and we are all exactly the same because I, I, we come from the same source. There is no gender distinctions uh, in there uh, in the beginning of the creation. However, it is in the division which happens in the physical world where we experience the duality or polarity, as you may want to call it. Um, the yin and yang, hot and cold, uh, male, female. Although this is a topic for another time, uh, to balance these two polarities is what brings us harmony and ease. And they both are in all of us, regardless of gender. So then, why this difference? So women, uh, same as children, um, are by nature more emotional and sensitive uh, beings. Mm, this is a fact. Mm, then it's harder for men to manage and deal with emotions. Um, there are exceptions, of course. <laughs> um, and then the conditioning and programming we all receive uh, from birth is key as well. This does not mean that men are not good at it in the slightest. Um, it means that it's like it's not in their priorities, as it were. Now, there are incredibly good channels uh, in YouTube uh, dedicated to yoga classes with magnificent yoga instructors. I advise you to check those out in, if, if you are really into starting uh, seriously, you know, practicing yoga classes. Um, what I am doing here in my channel is a kind of a different approach. Actually, you don't have to attend, you know, 45 minutes uh, or one hour classes if you don't want to or don't have uh, a place to go to or you don't have time and all those things. Actually, you can practice yoga or at least some poses, uh, breath work and everything anywhere at any time. I'll be showing you um, how to do it with very simple examples and obviously starting to build up um, from super easy to more involved uh, with me so this is not only my journey into hopefully uh, uh, an integrated yoga practice in my life uh, but it can be your journey too if you want 
um, even if just acquiring simple habits and never taking a class, if that makes sense. And let's give a bit of context about what yoga is and where it comes from and just very basic things. So origins are controversial, what a surprise, um, but it is said that yoga practice originated in the 15th um, century. It is also believed that the origin of the practice um, was spread to the West by Indian monks in the 19th century. What is largely uh, accepted though is that uh, yoga uh, practice uh, in the West comes from Hatha Yoga uh, and focuses on the physical aspect of the practice. So breath work is the most important part of the practice, um, also called pranayama. And that is always how your class is going to start or a flow or um, whatever you're doing, even any exercise, because you want to focus uh, and get you centered. There are different techniques um, and they help with calming the body and the mind, um, but also to build some body heat and soothe the nervous system. The most basic form, um, the best one to start as a beginner, um, is the Sama Berti school, which is a breath of equal duration. Only by doing this every day without any postures or anything, uh, you can increase your well-being massively. So basically this is, as usual, finding a comfortable position for you. Now, this can be in your own house like I am now. This could be in your car, in your truck, if you are um, driving, of course, uh, pulling over. Um, this can be at, at work, uh, in the bus, if you're getting the bus. Um, I mean wherever so you just find a comfortable position whatever is more comfortable for you and just draw your focus into your breath you can do it here you can do it here or your nose you you choose where but just your breath maybe the air just the air coming in and out and then inhale to count to four. Okay, so let's. And then exhale and count to four. Even if you don't do the count to four the first time and say that you do two or three, it's fine. It's just about building up um, because after the four, when you're comfortable counting to four, then you count up to, three, to five and then to six and then to seven. You know, you can make it as long as, as you can, actually. Um, but it's always about progress. You will progress. That's a given. As I said, you can do this anytime literally any time you're in a sitting room waiting for something for example um, it's just taking a few minutes and even if it's a couple of minutes which is absolutely nothing um, it's already effective it's already working towards a progress obviously i haven't mentioned when you wake up when you go to bed that's absolutely ideal and it can help you uh, go to sleep or in the morning it can help you to get you focused on the day and, you know, and ready for the day. You know what? <laughs> it's only wanting to do it and remembering it because I'm sure now you're thinking like, oh yeah, I can do that, you know, I'm gonna do that. But probably 10 minutes after you watch this video, you just forget because life gets in the way and we know that and there's a million things to do and then you, you never uh, think about it again until someone reminds you you know so it's making the habit it's just uh, wanting to do it having the intention to do it and then you know 
bearing it in mind, having it in your mind. Well, now let's look at three uh, very basic standing up uh, post posters that you can start practicing. Not in a flow, not in a class. Um, it's going to be something that you can do anywhere, you know, like any, anywhere. Um, I'll do that in the next video so uh, I don't get you bored too much in this one. Um, <laughs> you don't need any equipment, not even sport uh, clothes or anything like that. So click in the next video and check out these three posters. Bye. <laughs>